I would have, I would if I can actually say my words because my English is already leaving me. I'd like to kind of start this whole entire live stream by apologizing for how late I'm actually covering 18.5 plus 19 of Overlord. It's because I kind of was waiting the whole entirety of last month for Overlord 19 to come out because, my God, it was getting pretty freaking hyped. I mean, listen, men are like, yeah, boys, this is what we're going to do. And then they've got attacked. Well, they get they, they get attacked. They're coming. The enemy is coming. So I kind of said they're going, where's my chapter 19? So I kind of gave up hope. But then a fellow commenter, a very, very nice commenter, you know who you are, you are pretty freaking cool, actually just said, okay, 18.5 is out, and then also run with it, 19 was out, so I was like, thank you, I do thank you for that, so, I thought I would start this whole entire stream by just apologising how late this is actually going to, actually has been, also, as well, on top of that, I'll probably will review the actual, I th well, yeah, the actual chapter itself, it's chapter 19, probably next week, as kind of summarizing my whole entire points for the actual chapter as a whole, like I did with Noragami. I think this did not... Well, I can't even say my words anymore. It's going to be fun reading 60 pages. Um, this actually did work really well for Noragami, so I think this actually might work pretty freaking well for Overlord as well. Hopefully it does actually kind of work. If you do like it, do tell me. And we'll continue like this. So, without further delay, we shall get this, as I say, in the business party on the road because we've got a long stream ahead of us for about an hour and a half, I'd probably say. Like, with discussion plus uh, me reading, it's probably about an hour and a half, I'd say. I think this one's all about uh, Entorma. 18.5, if someone reminds me, is about Entorma, like, uh, observing Cocutus, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. I never know if I'm actually pronouncing his name correctly. I think it's Cocutus. Like, it's, it's isn't it C O C Y U T S? Or TUS, something like that. Like it's some really kind of overly complicated name to pronounce. It's why if I am mispronouncing it, I do apologize. I think that's how you pronounce it. Also, I can't spell as well. So just come see the side, just in case someone's like freaking hell, boy, you spelled that really incorrectly. It's because I actually can't spell. Don't know why I can't, but I never could. So anyway. Without further delay, we are starting this. I am reading this on Batado because it's actually the most safest manga reader besides Manga Stream and everyone like that. It actually has everything I need to read as well. So if you do want to actually read it with me, it's on Batado, which is a really freaking good website if no one actually has used it before. So kind of little scanner spark there, do use it. It's pretty freaking good. All right, so. Right, I don't even got my headphones on actually, saying the devil. <laughs> I don't even have more. I don't listen to anything. That was me being a stupid person. All right, so. All right, I've got to read the side bits. I just really realized that. Okay. A special chapter to celebrate the release of Volume 5, the story as seen from Nazarick. Something that I don't think has been kind of shown too much is the perspective from Nazarick. In essence, I think they have cut back to Nazarick a couple of times, but they always kind of presented Nazarick as kind of being really kind of upbeat. Nothing's really going wrong for them. In essence, it's really going freaking damn well for them. And he had the whole entire thing of the lizard man going, Frack it out, dude. How are you gonna get out of this alive? And then everyone else was all like, hey, this is going pretty freaking good. I've got my wood here, I've got my building there. It's all going freaking fantastic. So maybe it actually might shed some more light on this whole entire sh like kind of thing as a whole, because I think that we kind of do need some more perspectives from Nazareth. I think it's actually kind of lacking. I guess in chapter 19, we'll probably start the actual kind of attack against the actual lizard men. So probably. Some might die, which is actually really, it's really, if I can say the word, depressing. Like, I don't want to see Krush die. Like, it's gone. <laughs> it's back in my brain. I'm like, I don't want to see Krush die. I don't want to see. And I'm trying to remember his name. Zasryu. Is that Zasryu? Zasryu is his brother. Zasryu is the actual one we've actually been following this whole entire time. Again, also really, 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 really hard names to remember and pronounce. So, so if I actually pause trying to remember his name, it's just that's for the reason. All right. Enough talk. One, two, three, so about a hundred, it seems. This should be enough for a while. Great Tomb of Nazareth, level two guardian, Duke Fear. Leave them alone and they they start eating each other. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Well, when did she manage to... That's in Toma, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing to my children? They aren't very tasty in Toma. Lord Eines is calling for you. All right, I'm coming. She uses insects, yet she also eats them. How terrifying. That's actually kind of weird when you think about it. She's a, she's an, she uses insect but eats them at the same time. It's kind of like... That is kind of strange. 
I don't know what I feel about. I don't know how I feel about that. And Toma, raise your head. And Toma, I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Raise your head. What did you wish of me, Lord Irons? Ab Abli I can't pronounce her name now. Ab Albedo, that's her name. Yes. Are you aware? And as we are currently preparing to attack Lizard Men's sentiments, I am. Sir Co Utus is in charge of that, as I recall. That's it correctly that time. Doing pretty freaking good for myself. Your orders are to observe Cocutus. Huh? You mean you want me to watch Cocutus in case he rebels? As we recently witnessed with Shaltier, rebellion is certainly a possibility. However, do you really think that a proud warrior like Cocutus would betray me? In Toma, your task is to observe the war and report back in detail on how it fares from a neutral perspective. Understood. It seems like you don't truly understand the situation. In that case, isn't that isn't the case at all? If you have a worthwhile question, I will answer it. Well, is a war? Is this war really something worth documenting in detail? Why don't Sir Cocutus just smash the puny lizard men with ease? Will he? Will he really though? I don't believe that he will. Our predictions is that he will lose. All right. This is getting interesting. Like he's. Is he just kind of just saying, okay, so I'm not kind of putting all of my eggs in the basket and saying he's going to win it. I'm saying he, there's a possibility he might lose. Like his prediction is he might lose just because I'm guessing it might make him kind of just do better in battle. I don't know, because it seems kind of weird that you just say that. Like, he will lose, but you think about it. Granted, maybe Lizardmen actually do have a, have a plans up their sleeves that actually might allow them to win. We're just not too sure, because, again... One of those cases, you just don't know what could actually happen. It could go either one way. It can go one or two ways, I'm trying to say. It could go either they win or Lizard Men win. Like, it could go either way. But the problem is, you're kind of sitting there going, yeah, I don't really want Nazareth to win. I don't really want them to actually kind of take out the actual car Lizard Men because they're pretty freaking awesome. So, <laughs> hopefully they do lose because I don't, want to, I don't want to see them kind of get killed. I want to see them kind of get, a, like, kind of get put into Nazarick, but at the same time not put into Nazarick as kind of like slaves or anything, kind of as their own kind of settlement that actually helps. I think like that, hopefully my stream's actually still working, so I think it's kind of a little bit weird. Because I think like that, then it might just work out for the better for them, because I know they want them for a reason, but it's just the reason would be to actually kind of take them out and actually use them that way, but if they use them a different way, it actually might work out better for them, but you never know. I never know these things. Because I don't want to see the lizard men go. No. I could report. It seems that Sir Kukito has, has sent the lizard men a forewarning. Nothing else of note has happened. Oh, Christ. I'm on, I'm on the wrong tab now. Just realize that. I see everything is going as predicted so far. Yes. Report concluded as predicted. Everything has truly gone, has truly gone exactly as Lord Irons predicted. I say, sure, Lord Irons. I sure I will sure I will be sure to see this war through to the end. A conspiracy loyalty perhaps it's both. I mean deeper going down with her. Like Oh Christ. Alright. So we're going into the um I can't even pronounce that I can't even pronounce that word. The Pel Des days. This is the OVA they were doing for Overlord, wasn't it? Before they said, oh, we've got a big announcement coming, guys. And in the end, it's bloody like, kind of compilation film. I was like, ah. Before season two's going to get announced, I was like, freaking yeah, season two, Overlord coming. No. But this is, I'm guessing, the same thing. All right, okay, so I press, I'm guessing... Um... Six, book six bookends with extremely rare mini stories from those who bought the anime, brought you the anime. I boku ahem, I watashi am jeopardy head of Pelides, Yuri Alpha. Yuri wasn't in the anime, was she? What well, was she in the anime? And one of the other characters wasn't. I can't remember. It was one of them was Alex, from, like complete acts from the anime, or was she never shown at all? While we are maids, we are also combatants. While we are combatants, we are also maids. Be it the tea time preparations for an assassination, we law servants will carry out our task with grace. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> I'm really curious. Our job to the is to assist Sir Cocutus, who is in charge of guarding Nazarick. One of the things I always want to know is the fact that when it's, when it's a serious anime, why is it always comedy short? Like, ReZero has it, and this has it. I always wondered that. 
I think also Full Metal Alchemist had it as well, both times. We had like Chibi Full Metal, then they had the OVA series, and I think they had a Chibi version of Brotherhood as well. Now, where is Soy Cocky to us? It seems like he's in the middle of training. As I was created. As I was created a warrior, I expected to take to the battlefield. So I cannot neglect my training, but I wish for combat. So quickly, this is something that matter. For nothing, I must calm myself. I've been entrusted with important duty of God in Nazareth. And Tomba, do you have a moment? Resting, so quickly, this, please train with, with me. An actual fight is the best form of training. Tomba's kind of terrifying, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm kind of just seeing. And Toma now, and she's like, Frack it hell. I was like, I don't want to cross it down a dark alley. Terrifying. It's like an arachnid, I think how you pronounce it. And we'll say it. An arachnid. Don't expect me to hold back. Be it team time preparation or assassination. Just give us belly this, the order. I hope I'm adding correctly. Money, you say. Solution, indeed. Lord Irons and Nabral are currently investigation the human village. But when dealing with humans, you generally need money. However, Nazarek is not stopped with the money that the humans this world use. As such, if we aren't able to gather this money ourselves, we will certainly be, a, be of use to Lord Irons. But we don't know much about humans, it's simple. We just sell treasures that the professor left behind, or get lots of money. Standing out is one of the things Lord Irons wishes to avoid at all costs. If we sold our valuable treasures, we would Rumors are guaranteed to begin spreading. In that case, why don't we sell these threads? These instead. See these threads? These instead. Are those leftovers? Who would even want them? <laughs> Beauty. If you wish to earn money, it's obvious you need need to work. Think about it. I just love the taste. I don't know what did you get this meat. <laughs> Oh, did you need something, Sir Demigre? Well, it just seems that a number of sun sunlight scriptures corpse corpses have disappeared. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I like I kind of like these. These are kind of funny. They're like a nice little kind of almost like break from what is truly some pretty freaking depressing stuff. I always welcome the Noragami because Noragami has them as well. At the end of some of the chapters, it has the comedy sections. Actually, it's kind of fun to read because it's a nice kind of calm down for the quite extensive drama. So it's kind of welcome. A party, yes. Great, great, great welcome party for Lord Irons. Lord Irons will no doubt be tired upon returning from his journey, so we'll welcome him back with a grand party. You just tied him, tied him out even more. That's fine and all, but I don't have any dresses. That won't be a problem. Yeah, whichever one you like. You girls handle the fitting, yes. You'll be like, what's the difference? It's all, it's all been according to plan. The dresses prepared by the palette are all boring, simple designs. I just wear this dress that took me eight months to complete. I will be the star of the party. My plan is perfect. You're more beautiful than anyone else. Please stop. It's embarrassing. So, so Mayor, you are so cute, it's criminal. <laughs> An ambush here of all places. <laughs> Good grief, this cake is good. <laughs> Reasons is Hamizuke. I follow Sir Irons to the great team of Nazareth. I've missed him! I've missed, actually missed the giant almost hamster like kind of, I guess, um, what do you call them in MMOs? Can't remember the name of it now. God damn it, I cannot remember the name of what you call things in MMOs when you ride them. The things you ride in MMOs is what I want to call it. Steed. You call it Steed. I'm a new member of Hamazuka is my name. I expected I am to be, but I look forward to working with you. It's nice to meet you too. Just tell us that if there's something you don't get. The people in Nazaruka are surprisingly nice, and my new life here has many has begun without many problems. I do my best today as well. <laughs> I'm just that night, at this rate, I will be. I will end up being skinned by Lady Aura. Next morning, I couldn't sleep. I do not wish to be skinned, sis. It's not good to scare him that much. What are you talking about? This is just training against mental attacks. 
Please don't skin me. <laughs> I think that Shanti will revolt. Super tier magic had no effect on her brainwashing, which means that the enemy possesses a world class item. Who are up against, and what are they planning? I need to think of a countermeasure now, but can I do it? How tiring. Is it really tiring to be in charge of, of others? Being some random employee in a society was far easier. If only someone else could. No, I'm just trying to run away then. I'm Einzel Gaon, the supreme leader of the great Tuman Nazarek. I need a break. No, as their leader, I can't just take time off whenever I feel like it. Treasury. Oh my god, it's a Pandora's actor! I've missed this dude. I also voice by the guy who does uh, Darzai in uh, Bungao Stray Dogs, but also voices uh, Okabe. Do you need something, Lord Irons? I have a question. Can you transform into me as well? Oh, I'm wondering what you might... I'm wondering what you might wish to ask me. I can perfectly reproduce every detail from the angle of your ribs to the curvature of your collarbone. Oh, that's quite impressive. There's something I'd like to ask you too. You wish for me to serve as your body double, is that it? Uh, well, yeah. I have always expected this day to come and I've predicted for it. I practice for it. It's not predicted for it. I practice for it. Everyone raise your heads. Azric is currently faced with unpredicted presented danger. However, there's no need to worry for Ein Zalgao will resolve everything. Danke Sean. We shall establish a kingdom by the dawn. <laughs> Asking you was a mistake. Oh, you can't you can't say that's a mistake. The, the Pandora's actor is one of the greatest characters in Overlord. Like he's one of the biggest surprises of the show complete. I didn't expect him to be, to be this good, but I'm so glad he's there. Drinking days, level nine shot bar. <laughs> Shout it. <laughs> Have you had enough? Disgusting. One more. I, I know you screwed up, but Lord Irons doesn't seem to be mad about it. Pretty so kind. So just relax, and I yet, and yet I raise my hand against him. <laughs> I want to die. I read. You're already dead. I'm not fit to be Lord Irons' wife. So you're just gonna give up then? It's frustrating. <laughs> I'm gonna give up. I, I think I'll give it a shot myself, huh? Are you fine with, with me taking him? <laughs> if you have the time to drink, you have the time to refine yourself as a woman. It's got a point. The point is proven there. Little one, the little one had to push herself. Well, she had a point with saying that, actually. DVDs and Blu rays are flying off the shelves. Rewatch the incredibly entertaining anime in your own home. Ooh, mate, do a season two of the actual anime then if it's flying off the shelves, goddammit, Madhouse. Like, oh, goddamn it. I wanted to do season two really bloody badly, but I won't. All right. So that was chapter 18.5 in a nutshell. The beginning part was the most interesting part as Etomas basically got to go and actually kind of observe computers in the whole entire battle. I want to see what she does next because she seems interesting. Like, I want to see what happens with her. I want to see what, what actually really goes down also with um, the actual fight itself because it does seem to be interesting. I mean, Ainz is kind of saying, look, my predictions is he will lose. So what have they got up their sleeves to take him down? Because we know Computers is a pretty fracking powerful kind of person. It's, so what does he have? What do they have more than anything that he doesn't? Like, what could it be? Because it needs to be something completely serious to actually be able to actually kind of rival someone from Nazarek. Because, again, as we've seen before, people don't tend to rival Nazarek that kind of long. In essence, they get taken down pretty freaking fast. So there has to be something in between that really kind of paints what kind of people they are. I mean, they have been preparing, which does seem pretty freaking neat. They have been preparing pretty freaking great. In essence, really, really smart stat. Uh, Tactics is what I'm looking for. So maybe, just maybe, there could be a silver lining in this arc, which could lead to everyone surviving. Oh, hello, hello, viewer, hello, show. It's I'm about to start chapter 19, the actual newest chapter. So you actually just kind of arrived in time for the actual chapter chapter itself. So yeah, I want to see where this whole entire thing goes. It's more than anything. I just want to see how it all just kind of pans out because I do believe in some cases that maybe Nazrik might just employ the lizard men in some kind of capacity which doesn't involve murdering them all. 
We just don't know. I mean, even when you think about it, Cookie Tuss could actually lose the whole entire battle and then Lizard Men win. And then as well, I'm guessing Nasrik might just employ them because this whole entire thing might not be just to kind of kill them off. It might just be to kind of show how powerful they are. In essence, if they can actually then fight for them. In essence, maybe the whole entire plan was actually to begin to kind of say, look, we might actually might. Wait, you haven't heard, you haven't read the light novel, right? For some reason, I thought you did. I've read the first couple of chapters of the light novel because I actually have. Hold on, I'll grab it now. Whew. Oh, volume one. There it is. In it's all its glory. So yeah, I have bought, I have actually got it. And I read a couple of first couple of chapters. I do tend to read quite slowly, so that's why I haven't really caught anything to do with the light novel because I am quite slow. But I do intend to catch up with the actual kind of light novel to actually kind of cover it in conjunction with the manga because I believe that might be the best option. But yeah. So as I said before, it could just lead to them kind of winning and then also them getting employed. Like it could just be a test of might. I don't know. It just could be a limitless amount of possibilities to what could really happen to this whole entire arc. Because again, as I said before, as I've been reiterating this whole entire arc ever since Krush got introduced, I don't want to see him die. I don't want to see any of them get taken out because they deserve to kind of carry on in peace. They kind of deserve to get kind of employed to actually kind of live a better life. Because again, We've seen that maybe, just maybe, if they were to run, they can't run anywhere because they will get food shortages, you say the word, and then it would kind of lead them to kind of revolt against each other and then actually kind of lead them to wipe each other out. So it still kind of almost leads to bad options. There's not one good thing could happen in this whole entire like arc if it were if they were to run away. So their only option is to fight. And if they were to fight, then it's this whole entire thing. It needs them up their sleeve to take down someone with this level of power. Like, it could lead to something pretty freaking fine. It could lead to them winning. Not too sure. But let's drink some water before I start this chapter because it's a 40 page chapter. Actually, no, about 30. It's 37 pages because it's like four is um, like four or five about like introduction pages. So let us begin. <sighs> All right. It's going to be a long one, isn't it? All right, I'm just like kind of carried my thing just then. All right, okay, let's go. Oh, still not working. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's still, <laughs> it's not turning the page. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rows upon rows of undead soldiers. I have come to visit the front. Oh wow, it's it's um. The scans have changed. Like in essence, I'll, I'll I'll need to consider what I say since I'm currently reading volume eleven, or rather what I what I say, not what to say. Yeah, I know because I'm guessing a lot's happened in the space of where I'm at the moment with the manga to what's happened in the light novel. So, <laughs> spoilers might not be the greatest option for me because I, kind of, I really do like this. The scans have changed, and they like in essence, honestly, they're actually just kind of scanned it, scanned it because I remember they used to be kind of higher quality. Kind of weird. I've come to visit the front. Cookitus. Lord Irons has sent you these messages, message scrolls. Are these made of sheepskin? I heard that there there were few of them in Nazarek. Thanks to Sir Nemuro, research has been able to secure a supply of them. If you have problems with them, please report that. I see understood. And again, Nemuro Valley will be appreciated. It looks like you need to show the results with that with this war. Listen well, Cocutus. I want you to I want you to fight with just the troops I give you. You may not make use of your own support of your own or your subordinate strength. Yes. Okay, so we're getting more we're actually getting some more information on what actually kind of transpired before the actual war began. I guess. That's alright. As the commanding officer, you may use the elder lich I created, but it's best if you avoid using him too much. Lastly, decide on your courage of action yourself whenever possible. Course of action, sorry. Well then, I am done here, so you shall return now. No. I shall be observing how everything plays out. God, it's creepy! I end home as creepy as hell. So she was sent here to watch. In that case, watch from over there. 
advance. Such, it's actually kind of nice artwork this time. In essence, I actually kind of really do like where the artwork's going lately. In essence, the artwork kind of started off pretty okay. Then it actually kind of got really freaking good, and it kind of went back to being okay. And now it's actually got really, really freaking good again. So props. I really do like this shot. This shot's actually really nice. Like, it, paint, it, it kind of pains me it's actually monthly manga because it could have been weekly, but I'm actually kind of glad it is monthly because when you think about it, the quality of the actual kind of pages do reflect the actual monthly kind of thing of it. Hear me, lizard man. I I will admit that the enemy is new the enemy that the enemy is numerous. But we have no fear. <laughs> it's Grush. For the first time ever, all five tribes have joined together as one tribe. That's the other thing to note is how they actually kind of all banded together. Something that was kind of not always an option for them, but now they actually have. So it's actually kind of almost been alright for them. Mm, they're already on volume four in only 19 chapters, although it's been monthly is a pain. It is, it's a pain because it's kind of, it has a really weird schedule. Like sometimes it releases on the dot or it releases like something before it releases like a month after. It's actually kind of painful sometimes the way it could have been monthly, but I mean, it could have been weekly, but it's all right monthly. I can, I can, I can stomach it. Noragami one's even worse. That pain is real. Head, head priest and Cruise Lulu, the, Ancestral spirits. These ancestral spirits of all five tribes will appear before you. Everyone, please watch. Ancest ancestral. Yeah, that's how I work correctly. Right, the ancestral ancestral spirits have come to protect us. Now then, everyone, let's defeat the, the enemy and offer our victory to the ancestral spirits. I'm not a big fan of the art in the manga, although way too although way too sport by Soviet's art in the art. Ellen and my own imagination. Yeah, Sabin's art is amazing. Like it's actually one of the best I've seen in a very long time. Like it's just so beautiful. You follow him on Twitter. You follow Sabin on Twitter, it's just constant streams of pictures. It just looks fantastic. Air was excited thanks to the magic and the plants. The paints, sorry. No, plants. So that's gonna say, did I read that incorrectly? I don't want to this to be that long I don't want this too last long but if it does then we're all doomed the paints are going out now paint yourselves in every color advance okay the actual war is starting i mean manga full color that would be the dream god that would be the dream that would be a freaking amazing thing to happen if he actually was if sobin actually was the actual artist for the actual um it would be probably one chapter every two years if he actually was the artist for the actual manga it would be so freaking good but he wouldn't be that wouldn't happen. Oh man, look at that panel. That panel is kind of nice. I we do kind of say we we, we could kind of say we don't really like the artwork too much. Though I do kind of like it from time to time. Some certain panels do look freaking fantastic. That very last bit of page thirteen does look pretty freaking good. And also happens to be quite the um, war, like, kind of war centric chapter. Like it's like kind of. It's dialogue, but it's actually, I'm guessing, most of it's going to be just the war itself. There's a men's strength is beyond what I expected. See? This is what I'm trying to say. Like, maybe, just maybe, they wouldn't... Like, I guess he's not trying to underestimate the actual enemy himself. Like, in essence, he's saying, look, okay, so... My prediction is he might lose, because there's an area that really just tells me these people have a lot of strength. And as the men are actually showing, in essence, we've seen it so far, how sh much strength they really do have, how much resolve they have. So I wasn't actually kind of going into, uh, kind of going into this fight with optimism because they have shown how good they are so far. So there might just be this optimism that actually could win, but it's just a fact of Nasr as a whole and how they work. It kind of puts this whole entire area of uncertainty into you, saying that maybe, just maybe, they might lose, but what it's seen right now is they actually have the upper hand. Yeah, the island's a badge on the start. Yeah, it's 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 a style preference, I more than anything. It's one of those things that it's not to everyone's taste, I can understand that. Right, yo. How fair is the battle? About five hundred twenty things seem to have been destroyed. It seems I need to re I need to real real re re <laughs> evaluate, that's it, reevaluate how I view the lizard men. Still, the undead do not feel pain or tire. Just how long can they last against them? So, Coctitus. Should we not send out the archers and the cavalry? 
No, we should continue to assault and w wait for them to tire out. Could we not just destroy their village and slaughter them all? Damn, that's dark. That's, that phase is but a declaration. Have them all retreat for now. Oh, what's going to happen? We shall observe the situation for a bit. Are they looking down on us? The archers and cavalry are moving around. The, the zombie movements are also odd, as if they're just reacting to us. What if the commander isn't here? Low-level undead shouldn't be able to charge their own, change their own behavior without orders. What? So they're just puppets? They're just taking they're just taking us too hot lightly. Calm yourself, brother. It is it is to our benefit that the enemy is un underestimating us. Did did the key Seymour um, is it Simogal? Oh, I can't even pronounce that word. Go well. Yes. No, it's ceremony. I looked at that word really weird and I went, what? Has, what? No, it's ceremony. Yeah, ceremony. I'm going to say, what was that word even? What was that word even? But no, it's ceremony. I do apologize for that. One of the things I will know is sometimes when I read, I might actually get the word wrong. If I, if I have to repeat myself and actually change the word, it's because of that reason. Uh, sometimes when I read, I actually kind of muck up the word slightly. Never understand words when they tend to read out loud too much. But this actually is a nice practice. Because the chief priests of the different tribes worked together, it was finished really quickly. Working together creates amazing results. It's as Cruz says. What are you amused by? No, it's just that I feel happy now of all times. That's true, very you see. <laughs> so cute. Damn it! They're so bloody cute. They're adorable. And I want them to I want to get married. I want to have like many little men children that actually kind of live in a really, really happy neighborhood. And that's just kind of live happily and having like an office job that gets them a load of money. I want it, I want it to happen. And what a great thing it is to be young. Things are heating up. <laughs> Brother, the cavalry are moving. Oh, so things are heating up because the cavalry is moving. So things are heating up in the sense that between their relationship. Brother, the cavalry are moving. They're coming this way. I suppose it's time for us to move. But first, we'll show them our first trick. We got them. <laughs> there you are. In that case, release the undead beasts. Ooh. I must say, they actually are doing themselves with the chatter this, this month. The actual chatter that's pretty freaky nice. I actually can't say there's actually been one panel so far. I haven't actually enjoyed every single panel. Read those kind of scream. Pretty good quality. Swamp elemental. Elemental. Quite heavy on the actual art itself. Like less dialogue, more heavy on the art. So it's actually kind of nice to actually put in there, like kind of a game into it. Is it the power of the priests? We're losing. I didn't think the lizard men would be this strong. They're giving you a rather hard time. Will it be fine? Will you be fine? I haven't played all my cards yet, but using that is just a mission of defeat. Peter, indeed, my friend. What happened? What happened that made you send me a message? Lend me your wisdom. I cannot afford to lose. I, to disgrace our lord. Does Lord Arnold truly dis dis truly deserve you for you to win? What do you mean by that, Demira? Undead skeletons and undead beasts. Why would Lord Irons give you such low-grade undead? Has he has he has a point? I I too I too wanted that. Still, I I was ordered to face the enemy with those troops. I will follow these orders, Computers. I respect you as a warrior, but is this is the most important thing not to return to Lord Irons with results? Did you investigate lizard men's strength before attacking? Had you gathered information beforehand, you would have re realized that you might be unable to win with your current forces. Are, you, are your orders not to accomplish mission by any means necessary? Do you mean Lord Irons gave me these troops knowing that they wouldn't be enough? I believe that is quite likely. Had, had you known this in advance, you could have requested reinforcements from Lord Irons. You might assume that the battle might be pure slaughter, but it's actually fairly even battle. It really has some good character development for Guardians, but I guess I can't say much at all. No, it has. It, it seems like a pretty even fight. Granted, more than anything, it seems pretty even for the Lizardmen. In essence, I didn't think they were going to kind of go all out with this fight. In essence, kind of win 
in certain cases. It's kind of neat. In essence, I've actually kind of seen some development for all the characters as well, and actually kind of showing their true colours, which is actually kind of neat. So I do like this actual arc. I really do like this fight as well. Perhaps what Lord Iron Tree desired was for you to think for yourself. Decide on your own course of action yourself whenever possible. So that's what that what he meant. Well, perhaps he had uh, had other objection objectives as as well. But what's wrong? I apologize, Cutitus, but I need to go. I will pray for your victory. It's so interfere. I can no longer withdraw. Elder Lich, as the commander, I awarded you to show those other men what you can do. Oh Christ! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> it's getting it's getting eaten. We dealt with most of them. Carry the heavily wounded back to the village. The rest of you are able to follow. Are, are to follow. New enemy. Four. I was going so bloody well. No. Oh, the other lich is there. Hey. Igwa. Iguva? Iguva. Shall grass victory for you. Eyes that don't reflect any light. Any light. Yeah. The appearance of a hopefully strong opponent. Right. Why do you make me wear a dress? Because Japan. <laughs> that pretty much just summed up that whole entire thing. Just... But why do you make me wear a dress? Because Japan. <laughs> I quite like that. So that's the way then the whole entire chapter. Right, that's the end. That's chapter 19. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. That was. That was that was quite the chapter, I must say. Like I quite like that chapter in a nutshell because it really kind of just painted this level of optimism for the actual kind of lizard men. In essence, again, I said about three times in the whole entire chapter review and live discussion is the fact I didn't expect them to kind of have this much kind of actual like advantage is what I'm trying to look for. I didn't expect them to have this much advantage. I thought to myself they would go into this fight, possibly get slaughtered. And actually, then possibly then get used by Nazarek. But I didn't expect that she kind of almost had the upper hand. But then I'm guessing what I was doing with Cocutus was basically saying, "Look, okay, I'm giving you all these troops. Yes, these troops do seem kind of a bit kind of strange. Like you're not going to win this fight at all. But I want you to think for yourself. I want you to think where possible to use this person, this actual formidable force that actually might allow you to win. So I guess that's an actual case here. In essence. I'm guessing what Ainz wanted was him to actually grow as a character as well. Wanted him, wanted him to grow from where he was originally to where he is now. In essence, just become someone better. I think that's what I think that's what the whole entire thing meant. In essence, I'm guessing he knew something was going down here. In essence, he knew why why would Lord Ainz, of all people, task me task me with winning this war with such low grade troops why would he do this there must be an interior reason here and the interior reason was for him to actually kind of think for himself in essence use this sparingly but use it when you need to use it for the perfect time the perfect time was now so i'm guessing now when you think about it lizard men are pretty screwed like it's the main thing i kind of take away i mean the other lich came in and i was kind of sitting there going frack you know have you ever played Phoenix right games i played the first one I think I played the 3DS one. I think that's why I played. I think he went into the fight thing. I think everyone else went into the fight freaking fracking out. We're going to lose this. And everyone else like fracking out. We're going to win this. But it's not really the case. But now it's kind of painting this whole entire uncertainty whether or not this is a mental win. Because as you saw from their faces, they were cowering in fear. Really, they were. They were like freaking out. Like, this doesn't look good. This really does not look good. I mean, God. I've got to go back to the chapter now because the chapter kind of left. But it's just, I was kind of sitting there going, oh man, it was going so bloody well. Like one of those things, it was going well, and then it kind of just went bad. Right. Yeah, their faces just seem like it's going. And I wanted to do an, an, an allegory to Ainz. It's basically Phoenix writes in this chance, but I guess that's a bit too obscure. Probably it is, and not like too well inversed in the Phoenix writes lore, sadly. It's one of those things I have to get into one day. 
but their fate is carrying fear like they just know they are against this middle force but at the same time it's this kind of idea that they're not kind of carrying away like in essence i don't think they will actually kind of leave this battlefield i think they will carry on and win because as we've seen before they're not the type of people they're not the type of people that will run away yes the option is there to run away the option to run away is very evident in their plans they can say look we can run away but at the same time if they do run away they lose so their only option is to fight so i don't think they will back down from this fight i think they will just carry on fighting maybe kind of like get some people back allow the people that actually can fight really fracking damn well fight and i think maybe as well i'm guessing um zara you see might use a forest bane i think they pronounce the name forest bane forest pain oh, i'm gonna go and check that quickly let's get the name wrong i think it's a forest bane i think forest pain that's it frost pain forest pain frost pain sorry <laughs> my brain does not work most of the time I'm trying to, when I'm trying to remember things on the spot, my brain just kind of shuts down slightly. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to say the uh, frost, the frost pain. And they're actually established why they aren't running away in a light novel. I think they did establish it in the actual kind of manga as well. The fact is, if they run away, they kind of get into a rut of they will lose food, and for that reason, they will revolt against each other and actually kind of cause a civil war and actually then wipe themselves out. So that's why they can't run away. I'm guessing that's why they will still stick there and actually fight because their other option is to run away and their other option is really freaking bad. So that's that. But I don't know. I still think there might just be an area to this arc that they actually just might win it. I think they will just kind of th figure out something that will lead them excuse me, to salvation. I think that actually might lead them to a better kind of outlook, a better place to actually live. Because it does kind of really work in that context it really works in the fact that these people aren't people we should be rooting for we should be rooting for nazarick because we've been following for the last cha 19 chapters so we should be rooting for him but when you change perspective and actually change to someone who you don't think you should be rooting for it completely changes how you see the other characters that's why I kind of that's how I've seen this arc so far. Since arc has been one of those arcs that completely just changed my perception on certain characters to a point where I was like, I've been I've been rooting for a bad guy, haven't I? And I was like, oh, it's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, they're trying to boost their own strength, so in the end, they actually could kind of then strengthen and actually kind of then fight for the future. But at the same time, you kind of seeing they're going, they're gonna wipe out this whole entire like kind of settlement, this whole entire tribe or tribes. For their own gain. You just they don't think about how other people feel. They don't think about themselves. In this case, it's kind of evident why they would think about themselves. But at the same time, you kind of question their own like kind of morality. It's, you kind of question how they act because of this reason. How they develop the lizard men is phenomenal because you don't want to see anything bad happen to them for that reason because they, they are so freaking good. They're so freaking great. They're great characters. They've banded together this whole entire time. Something that hasn't happened before has actually happened. They've banded together. They actually fight this oppression. So they should, in theory, carry on living normally, living in harmony, living a better life. But now it seems like they might not get that. I don't want it to happen. I want them to win. But, but it's, by the looks of things, it doesn't seem like it's going to go down that way. And I want to see what Antoine is going to do next, because she seems really fracking interesting. Yes, yeah, she's observing, but I just I think there might be an interior reason again to her why she's there. Like, there could be this area of doubt in her character, which I don't think I can trust too well. Like, I don't know. But, really good chapter overall, I must say. It really kind of just kind of centered on the whole entire fight itself so the actual art itself was really nice because of it the art itself was really freaking great because of the actual centering on the actual kind of fight so it didn't actually kind of compromise any way like that this has been a quick great, great, great though it feels like a dick move starting from their point of view and always antagonizing eyes i think that's the actual kind of intention the whole entire time i think that's the whole intention because i think they wanted to antagonize eyes i think they might wanted you to question how he acts i think they want you to question like his leadership as a whole like in essence can we really follow this character for the next i don't know thousand chapters can we really follow this person because of what he's doing i think that's what they're trying to do and that's the case really meticulous now they did it because i really don't like irons right now like in essence he's a pretty cool lad but right now he's a pretty big penis 
Like that's why how everybody see him. He's just a massive douchebag because he's taking that lizard man. Like I don't know. They did a really good job with this actual arc. I must say, they really did a good job on how they actually just showed and portrayed the lizard men. Because again. You don't want to see anything bad happen to them. They're just so great because of it. They're great because of that reason. But yeah, I don't know. I just I want I want them to win. But right now, it doesn't seem like they're gonna. It's gonna go down that way. I mean, it just seems like this force that's gonna come in is gonna be pretty freaking tough. Like I don't know. Yeah, the Elder Lich. It just seems like. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. I don't want to think about it. I really don't. I don't want to think about what could really be the actual like kind of outcome of this art. I want them to win, but I kind of sit here and wonder, will they win? Because now Cookie Tess has figured out, oh, that's what he wanted. So now I know what I must do. Yeah, the arc is pretty much, who do I go for? Do I go for Ainz or do I go for Antagonist? Or do I go for the protagonist for this arc, the actual lizard men? You can't just, you don't know who to center on. That's the problem. This arc is really good for that reason. I really do like it for that reason. But yeah, I just, I just, I have no bloody idea how this arc will actually kind of come to an end. Like, it just seems like this could be about a billion outcomes, but the one outcome you don't want might just happen. That's how I can. That's how I see this arc. It's just that one outcome you don't want to see happen will happen. So maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I could be wrong in the whole entire aspect that maybe they might all survive and actually kind of get employed by Nazarek. And I think maybe, yeah. Thinking about it, maybe the Elder Lich going out is this kind of test of might for the actual lizard men for Nazarek. In essence, maybe Ainz might want to employ them. Maybe Ainz might just kind of have this idea of actually kind of wiping them out. But at the same time, he might not. At the same time, he actually might kind of just sit there and go, well, okay, look, if we actually send out the other Lich, if I tell Kukutus to think for himself, he might actually send out the other Lich himself and actually kind of just use the best option or best time. At the same time then, I can actually see how Elizabeth men actually kind of work against him, in essence, actually work to actually defeat him. And as you can see from there, how I can actually use them, in essence, maybe not kill them off completely, all of them, and actually kind of employ them, and actually kind of strengthen our entire resolve in Nazarek. It could actually be a possibility. Actually, if that was the case, complete content. If that's not the case, I'm going to cry in a corner. That's how, I, that's how I see it. So, yes, that was the entirety of what I've missed in Overlord. It actually was a pretty good catch, I must say. 18.5 was a little bit shorter than I actually wanted. I thought 18.5 was going to be 32 pages of pure just developing Antoma's character and actually kind of seeing what Kukuta is going to do with Antoma there, but it was enough. Like, I was like, oh, okay. But what we got was pretty short, actually kind of sweet, actually kind of nice. All right, so I kind of accept it. And chapter 19 was pretty freaking swell as well. Nice artwork, nice continuation. Want to see where it goes. So, yes, with all that said, I have indeed been the driver. If you have enjoyed the video as a whole and you do want to leave a like, do leave a like because indeed it does happen quite a bit. If you have enjoyed my content and you want to stay a little bit longer, do leave a sub because indeed it does happen quite a bit. And then you will join the family, the family of 532 subscribers. So you want to be the 533rd? Do leave a sub. So yes, with that said, the review for this actual, this actual, uh, Sorry, my voice is actually dying now. This review for this actual chapter will be out next week, or probably on Wednesday, because this week was kind of really, really kind of tight when it came to timing, because I had a lot of work to do on top of covering everything else. So that's why it hasn't really been that much covered. So next week on Wednesday, hopefully, the review will be out of this actual chapter. So be on the lookout. So yes. Before I say, if you actually haven't enjoyed a live stream and you want to continue in, you want me to continue in this vein, then do tell me, because I will continue. So until next time. I shall see you guys later. I will be in the comments as well, so do not worry. If you want to chat for a little while longer, I shall be here. So yes, with what I said, I shall be, have been a driver, and I shall see you guys later.